And so is, is it maybe worth us making a definition of what imposter syndrome is then? So how did, in your research, what's your kind of definition of imposter syndrome? Where does it start for you? Yeah, I'm happy that even in every article it said that it's actually not a syndrome or some kind of diagnosis when it comes to a really psychological point of view. It's just the name of the feelings, which is not a real syndrome. That's very important to say. And the feelings can be described as feelings of inadequacy, uh, even when there is an evidence of success or skills of some people. So when it, when it comes to even my story, like you reach the success and you don't feel like you, de- you deserve it and you deserve the place where you are actually when it comes to the career growth. Okay. Because it's really interesting because like you say, I, I see it a lot with the, the folks that I coach, the CEOs that I speak to, especially first time CEOs who don't feel necessarily that they deserve to be in the seat that they're in, that their previous successes don't really count for as much that in their eyes, or they're kind of a lot harder on themselves in terms of their own abilities, you know, almost like they're having a moment where this is, feels too much. I don't know if I can do this. They do feel that um, inadequacy sat in that seat and in that role. They don't share that with lots of people, but they do share that with me. And it's definitely a common thing that I see is that, that this feeling comes up. And so admittedly, that's more in the, you know, I see that I've coached many more men, male leaders than I have female leaders. Um, that actually the the imposter syndrome side of it is something that seems to be quite normal. Certainly the people I work with, the people that I attract, who are often more along the humble side of being a leader, really. And that the imposter syndrome aspect for them is really about them wanting to self-improve, to get better, to realize that what's got them the job is not the thing that's going to make them successful in that job. That that self-improvement, which has often led them to the conversation with me, is something that they need to explore. And going through the conversations and this continual self-improvement is a way of them almost offsetting slightly this, this feeling of inadequacy that's there. But maybe sometimes goes, maybe it doesn't go, but at least they know they're on the right path to dealing with that. 